Maybe they go back the other direction, but maybe they won't. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we're going to talk about Abercrombie, as in the clothing line, label, whatever you want to call it, Abercrombie and Fitch, deleting a post from an ad because of a tweet storm. Basically, people are like, hey, wait a minute, this does not make a lot of sense. You guys are Abercrombie and Fitch. Why are you posting this thing that normalizes obesity? And I'll, I'll place this right here on the screen. We get to an article in a little bit, but here's the picture right here, right? This is just one of the women that were in the picture. Now, come on, you know, Abercrombie and Fitch, this, this is not really, if you ever seen Abercrombie and Fitch before, you got, you have more lean and young looking models. And this right here is not Abercrombie and Fitch. Okay. And then the person who was posted it said new Abercrombie and Fitch ad just dropped this season. They are featuring diabetes and heart attacks. Now, nothing against anybody that happens to be full figured or obese or whatever it is, but facts are facts. When you have a lot of weight on you like that, your chances of developing these things that are very debilitating go up. Before they open up the southern border and let fentanyl just come across unfettered, the number one cause of death of all Americans was heart disease, and heart disease is caused by obesity. So this is not in any kind of way a good thing to aspire to. And it doesn't make any sense for a, a clothing company to put that out there. It doesn't make any sense for, I guess you would say, modeling agencies or whatever to put that out there as some kind of vision of beauty. Now, I understand the retort. Hey, ABL, that's more realistic. Well, maybe it is. But first of all, two things. First of all, should it be realistic? Should it be realistic to have obesity be the standard? I mean, because obesity really is, is, is sickness. You don't see many elderly people who are obese because they're going to die early due to the things that they're doing to their body. That's just what it is. And I wish that it wasn't that way. I would hope that people could just be healthy and whatever, do whatever they want, but that's just not how our bodies are created. All right. Obesity will kill you sooner than later. And if you are obese right now, today's the day to change it. You can change your life. But I'm going down the rabbit hole. I'm preaching, so I digress. Um, models, and I, I think modeling should be more about aspirations. It should be about goals. It's not realistic to have everybody be, all the males be six foot three and six pack abs and all this, that, and the third. That's not realistic, but it should be aspirational. It should be a goal. It should be a thing that you should reach to. You might not be able to reach it, but hey, Shoot for the stars and land on the moon. That's what my philosophy is. You'll be healthier and happier as a result, at least in my humble opinion, as long as you don't go down a rabbit hole of bulimia and anorexia, as long as you're just being healthy, that should be the main goal, healthy. You don't have to be a, a model on the cover of the GQ magazine, but at least be healthy, right? And I, I'm not really sure why they're pushing obesity because there's somebody else that is has this going on, and that's Lizzo. Now, now you, you guys know who Lizzo is. She's been around for a little bit. Um, they put her on the VMAs last night. I didn't really watch that. I just turned on my TV, and I saw two dudes kissing, so I turned off. That's not really my cup of tea. If you're into that, hey, knock yourself out, but I'm cool on that. But Lizzo, I feel like, you know, you, you see my little comment, you know, modern-day minstrel. They look make it look ridiculous. She has on a construction tarp. Look at this outfit right here. They, they are making her look ridiculous because her whole shtick is that she's obese. That's the whole thing. She's talented musically, but there are a lot of musical talents out there that don't have any kind of stardom anywhere near a Lizzo because they don't have that extra thing that puts them over the top. In her case, it's being obese. And then they dress her ridiculously to, to further it. You could find something that would make her look a little bit better than this what appears to be black tarp, black trash bag. They're making her look they're they're making a mockery out of her. They're mocking her openly. And she don't really care because she's able to get plenty of money and be successful. So yeah, I'll be this obese mockery of a person. I'll let them dress me ridiculously because I make money as a result. It's pretty embarrassing. And and you push it forth this unhealthy body type. 
it's not even about being pretty or whatever. Because you could say Lizzo is not necessarily ugly in the face, but when you 400 pounds or however, however heavy she is, it don't really make a difference. So let's go back to the Abercrombie situation. This is the full um, picture right here of the young lady for an Abercrombie and Fitch ad. This, this is supposed to be something you would buy. And here's something else, though. The, the whole reason why models are typically thin, or at least in, in yesteryear, they're pretty thin, is because they're just like clothing hangers. You march them out there to show how the clothes look. Can you even see why you want to go to Abercrombie and buy something like this? Why would I want to buy that? It's like, all right, I want to see how the clothes look on just, just when I go shopping on, like, let's say Amazon or something like that. I want to be able to see how like this polo shirt, for example, would just look. It could just be on a, on a flat surface with no person wearing it. But with this right here, why would you go to a store that's not Walmart or Target to buy something like this? This appears like you dug this out of the back of your dresser and threw it on. Like it's too small, first of all. It's too small. It don't really fit well. It doesn't look good. So if you're a model, your objective should be to make the clothes look good. And she does not succeed right here. So I think there was more pictures. So she don't look too bad. This lady right here, she don't look too bad. I mean, you're a little, you, you, you could look better, you know what I mean, for to be a model. Now, I'm not saying I'm a top model either, but I'm not. I'm also not the kind of guy that's going to be modeling pictures for Abercrombie and Fitch. You know, I'm over here doing my, my YouTube thing. That's what I do. I said, I said to what I'm good at. I said to what I know. All right. And yeah, so a lot of them don't look too bad. I think I suspect this could be something else going on because with some of these ads, you got to watch out. You, you might get a little, you, you might, you might get a little something extra. <laughs> you, you might get a little something. You might get a little surprise in that dress. If you catch my drift, wink, wink, but I'll move on. So they don't look too bad. It look okay. I mean, this person right here, if they are biological um, XX, then they uh, look okay. But um, or, um, this right here does not look good. It does not look appealing. It's like, what, what would make me want to go buy that if I was a young lady? I would not say, hey, that's cute. That looks good. And, and then you got these guys right here. Most guys ain't going to be built like this, and that's fine. Like I say, you, you got to aspire to be that. All right? And the main thing is probably these pants they got on and these, uh, and these sandals they're wearing. So that, that should be the main thing you focus on, right? The, the pants and the sandals, all right? Because it's, it's just like, like I said, you could just lay on the flat surface and that'd be kind of how it looks, all right? Now, you, you got to understand, if you weigh 700 pounds and you can find to a wheelchair or your bed, that won't look the same on you. It, it's not going to look good on you. You can't really wear anything that's going to look good. That's just the situation, so it may not necessarily be realistic to look like that or a, another, you know, like a, like a Tyra Banks back in the day or Cindy Crawford back in the day. It may not necessarily be realistic or even to be more modern. I know I'm old with the references. Uh, who's that? Uh, uh, Zoe Kravitz. She played Catwoman on the uh, recent Batman movie. You know, beautiful young girl. Absolutely beautiful. She reminds me of her mom back in the day when she was on Kaja Show and all that kind of stuff. But I'm I'm going down a, a deep rabbit hole, so I'll digress. The point is that everyone can't look like the vision, the beauty, and that's and that's understandable. But at least try. I'm not gonna read the articles. I'm not pretty much out of time right now. But I'll, I'll link to this in the description. But they did delete this ad because of the the tweet storm. Is, is there a statement? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to see if it's a statement right quick. Um, they just deleted the ad. Um, but they didn't put um, a statement. It says the ad no longer appears in Abercrombie's Instagram feed. The post has reached out to the apparel company for comment, but they probably have not responded, and they, they probably won't. So, yeah, this is not a good ad. I mean, even if the person was not necessarily the perfect size, size zero or whatever it is, just like like I said down here, okay, the person right there, not a perfect size zero, but much better. You, you could still kind of see how the dress would look on a regular person. You could, you could kind of see my, why you might want to buy it versus over here, 
You look like you got some rags on from Walmart. Why would I go to Abercrombie and Fitch and purchase that? It doesn't make any sense. But as I close, I want to say this. Again, I'm not trying to attack you just because you may not necessarily be you may not necessarily be the, the vision of beauty. You may not be in perfect shape. It's not even about that. It's about obesity being celebrated as a good thing. It should not be. We know that obesity causes all kinds of problems. It's it's just a reality. It's just like being on drugs or being an alcoholic. These things are going to cause you problems. Even if you look good while being a drug addict, you're still a drug addict. Your man Hunter Biden is not necessarily obese from what I'm able to see, but he's a crackhead. So, I mean, that's a problem right there. Like, let's let's focus on health. That should be our main thing going forward. You know, they 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 had us focused on health a little bit, like wearing the masks. And, you know, when I'm traveling, I'm seeing some of the masks still being worn. But people that are wearing it are like 350 pounds on the, on the low end. So it's like, OK, well, you you're trying like you, you're doing the easiest thing to try and preserve your health other than back away from the table. Stop eating all the, the, the chips and cookies and ding dongs and all that kind of stuff like that. Treat your body a little bit better. That should be the main thing. These companies shouldn't be promoting treating your body like it's garbage. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about the new Abercrombie and Fitch ad? Does it make you want to go out there and get that outfit? You want to steal that look? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. Uh, you guys should know where I'm at. I think that this is pretty ridiculous. They're trying, they're trying to key in on the whole body positivity movement and social media trends, but it's it's dangerous. I'm gonna say it's necessarily dangerous, but it's destructive when you put this out there as a thing that's okay, not really a big deal. You should want to aspire to be fit and healthy rather than being content. If you are obese, some are going to say this could cause anorexia and uh, whatever. You may have some of that, but it's better to have some of that and more healthy people than none of that and fewer healthy people. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Peace.